House Democrats reintroducing a bill that would tax each and every stock trade and bond purchase, claiming that it would bring in more than $700 billion in revenue over a decade. But critics now warning the measure would have major implications for working Americans. Here to discuss this, Executive Vice President of the National Taxpayers Union, Brandon Arnold. Brandon, thanks for being, being on with us. Good morning. Good morning. Doesn't sound like a lot when you just see it, 0.1%. But you're charged that every time you buy a stock, a bond, a derivative, if you have a college savings, if you have a 401k. So what does this mean for the average American family? Yeah, absolutely. It's a, an idea from the left that thinks that they can just tax Wall Street. They'll hit the fat cats, the millionaires, the billionaires on Wall Street and not affect everyday Americans. Of course, the truth is it will affect a lot of people, people that have retirement savings, which is the majority of Americans, people that are saving for their college educations. It'll hit them because it makes financial investing more expensive. And it means that your payout at the end of the day on your investment is going to be smaller. That means you're going to have less to retire with when, when you go to, to actually retire. You're going to have 3 to 5% less in your retirement funds than you would without this tax. To put that in other words, you're going to have to work two and a half years longer just to have the same amount of retirement savings as you would without this tax. So it's not just hitting Wall Street fat cats. It's hitting everybody. Right. And as far as student loans are concerned, how does that affect the people that are saving a little bit at a time so their kids don't have to go into debt? It's a similar problem there. You know, Vanguard released a study that said you're going to have to take out the equivalent of, of 700 and I'm sorry, seven thousand and eight hundred dollars in additional loans just to make out from the lost earnings that you would have if this tax was not in place. That's almost eight thousand dollars per student in loans for the average family that many of whom are already swimming in college debt. We have so many people that are facing this college debt crisis that are having trouble making their student loan payments. This is going to make the problem worse, not better. Again, that's hitting everyday average American families, not the millionaires and billionaires that Elizabeth Warren and AOC and other proponents of this tax want you to believe that it's going to impact. What's the average amount that someone retires with? I don't know the number off the top of my head, to be honest with you. Uh, but, you know, what we're talking about here is certainly a huge reduction in that three to five percent of that. So you're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars that are going to be leaving those retirement savings accounts and moving, of course, to the federal government where they can be used for things like Medicare for all. Uh, that's what some of the proponents of this bill want to use the funds for. It's not about responsible things like trying to uh, balance the, 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 the uh, federal budget and bring the, the country into a more strong fiscal setting right. it's to pay for pet projects like medicare for it's all it's devastating when, when you've worked your whole life and a lot of people out there don't like their jobs they get to 65 they want to retire and now you're telling them or they're telling us you got to work for two more years and that's time when it's time to travel and before you get to a point in your life when you can't do it so that's devastating thank you so much for talking to us about this My